Join in studio by Barons head coach and general manager Gord Thibodeau and the new captain who we're not going to reveal yet, but Gord, I will give you the honors right now of revealing who the captain of this year's squad is. Well, thanks for having us here, Nolan. Uh, the captain for this year, 2013-14 for McMurray Oil Barons is number 17, Jetlin Houcher. And skates in closer, fires, that's tip wide, rebound, dodges it in the crease, Houcher scores! You're looking at the future right now, Fort McMurray! Jetlin Houcher finishes up on the loose puck in the crease. Can you encapsulate uh, what it means to you to have that C on your jersey? It's an absolute honor, Kinger, to be named captain in such a high-class organization here. and Couldn't have asked for a better place to play. The fans are great. The coaches treat you awesome, and it's just it's awesome to be here. Uh, in Jetlin's case, uh, you know, he had actually sent me a text about a uh, month before the year um, started saying that uh, he would be honored to be considered which is something I've never gotten before from a player. It was a, a well-worded text, um, so that was the first strike for him. Uh, so going into exhibition, we wanted to kind of just see how it was going to play out, uh, who was kind of going to jump to control of the group on the ice and off the ice. And we really felt that uh, him and Bloom initially were the first two that started to, to kind of take over a little bit of the team function. Former star scorer for the Lloydminster Bobcats Midget AAA squad. Carries in left wing, driving to the left hash marks, dangles back, and Jetlin Houcher puts the mob ahead in the shootout with a beautiful breakaway move. That's as nice a backhand as you'll see anybody score. Well, you know, he's a kid that we saw when he played midget. Um, Spruce Grove had him at that point, and so we really couldn't do anything. We liked his talent, though. Um, but, you know, much like most of our scouting, when a kid shows that type of offensive ability at a younger age, we know given the opportunity, he's going to do that again at this level. Uh, Jetland's numbers were very deceptive in West Side. He wasn't given that opportunity, but we felt strongly that um, once you're a goal scorer, you tend to score at every level uh, when you get that chance. And um, for both uh, him, Miller, and frankly, and Dawes, all three trades, uh, we had that inkling in the back of our mind that these are top 10 midget scorers. If we can give them ice time, uh, they're going to produce, and they did. When did that sort of talent really start to rear its head for you? Was there a particular year where you realized this kind of goal-scoring sniper role was the kind of thing that you were going to be able to do long-term, or did that just sort of gradually come to you? Well, it started pretty early for me because we, well, I played in a small town, so it's it kind of easy for me back then, and I was just hoping I can keep keep it going, and hopefully this year I can keep it going as well. well I just want to win a national championship. That's all I want. I don't... It doesn't matter personally what happens as long as we win. That's it. Um, you know, Jedlin's one of those kids. He's he was a little bit quiet last year. And when we spoke to him in the year-end meetings, we talked about maybe a leadership role and how he needed to be a bit more outgoing in terms of speaking with the group. And uh, he's done that. But on ice, uh, he's already improved significantly in three or four weeks. You know, we, we got some film of him uh, skating with the puck and he's a, a little too uh, upright and talked to him about 10 days ago about bending his knees a bit more and getting more explosion and wouldn't you know it, uh, he's made a lot of changes in you know seven or eight days and I think he's gotten faster in practice here in the last week or two. Have there been other captains or other coaches, other people who've been in leadership positions that you learned a lot from, guys where maybe they had certain qualities or certain ways of doing that that you're going to try to bring to this team yourself? Well, absolutely. I'm trying to follow in Chucker's footsteps last year. He's a great captain and he's a good leader. And well, I thought his work ethic was unreal and he carried himself like a true captain everywhere he went. He didn't make mistakes and he was just an awesome leader. You've had, obviously, a lot of different captains over your time with this franchise and others, and there must have been a lot of different types of captains. What kind of a, a type does Jetlin Houcher fit into as far as his leadership style, or is that still to be determined because you haven't seen him in this role before? It's still to be determined. I mean, I've been impressed so far. I think, I think you know, Carson was a real good leader for us, Carson Cooper, um, but he was a bit more vocal and outgoing and passionate, let's say. Jetlin's a bit more of a thinker. Um, when he says something... Uh, he's not just trying to fire guys up, he's, he's got a point and uh, so his leadership style will be different but in some ways he reminds me a little bit of Carson also that he's very proud, he understands and he really cares and, and bleeds uh, oil barren blues. What kind of a team does this look like to you and how do you maybe compare it to some of the other teams you've been on? Well this team, this depth is unreal, the amount of forward skill that we have up front and our D-men are going to be solid back there and then we got Jillian Ned. I mean you couldn't ask for a better goalie back there either so I'm so excited to get the season going and get this get underway here.
Does it help at all that the, the first two games are going to be against a team you used to play for? I love it. I can't wait to beat them. Is there any quality of Jetlin Houcher that's been underestimated up to this point or that people maybe don't notice that you expect to come out more this year? I think people don't realize how competitive he is. Um, he typically doesn't show that a lot, um, so you can underestimate how much he wants to win, but believe me, uh, this is a kid that really wants to compete and really wants to win, and um, we're hoping that he's going to show that a bit more, so uh, that's another part of leadership is showing not just your players but the fans that, that you care and uh, each and every shift, and he'll do that.